Good afternoon, everyone. I got some bad news again. Sunday afternoon, and the volcano is erupting again. You can look up and see the mushroom clouds in the air, way up there. I was just inside, I just got back from San Diego a short while ago, relaxing, and I thought I heard something. And um, this is what's happening right now. An eruption is taking place off the Lasso Freire volcano this Sunday afternoon on the 18th, so this 18th day of April. So we've had about two and a half days of quiet. And then this Sunday afternoon, as we are um, relaxing a little bit, the volcano is in action again. Can hear some rumbling. Um, low level, not very loud right now, but I can hear the rumbling and the volcano is ejecting more ash and other substance into the atmosphere. So the quiet we've had for over two and a half days is no more. The dark mushroom clouds are overhead. And um, you look at the mountain. And you can see our Lassafre volcano. Has erupted again. So a louder bang, louder blast there. I'm sure you heard that one. Yes, indeed, my friends. I think we have to, we have to dig in for the long haul here. It's a Sunday afternoon eruption taking place right here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines of the Last of Fred Volcano. See the mushroom clouds towering overhead right above me. So most of the ash is probably gonna fall right back on us here in Trumaca. Right overhead. Again, if you're just joining me and um, you want to know what's taking place, this is happening live in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The last of Freire volcano is erupting again. Gotcha.
we've so far we've had a series of um, explosions and um, try to get a, a look at the skies so you can see the coverage of the mushroom clouds above us way up see how wide it is this is the largest one we've had in a few days the last couple explosions didn't go this high into the sky and the last explosion we had was about two and a half days ago and um, I think it took a while to recharge and um, as you can see this ex explosion you look at the sky you look up there you see the mushroom cloud this one is up there quite a bit um, I'm trying to look back at the mountain and it's just all that black stuff that's coming from within the crater it's very dark yeah Again, I'm coming to you live from Trumka, here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The last of Frey volcano is erupting. I can see some of the guys on their boats. They're trying to get out from Chateaubelay area. I'm gonna see if I can pick up the boat there. These guys are leaving Chateaubelay, heading out of the danger zone, out of the red zone. A lot of folks came down this morning to do some cleanup. It was a beautiful day, beautiful morning. Um, I got up this morning and made up my way to Sandy Bay and um, got back. My, pe my people, listen to that. Listen to that. Yes, and I uh, got back probably about an hour ago. Got back home from Sandy Bay. I feel a little, was feeling a bit tired. Went and lied down for a little bit, and um, I heard a rumble. I said, "My God, that sounds like the volcano again." So I grabbed my phone, put on my face mask, came outside, looked up. Oh man. So if you're just joining us, what we are looking at is live, it's happening. The volcano, Lasso Frey volcano. The, a series, we've had a series of explosions and I know most of you heard that last one. I know you heard that last, last explosion. I know a lot of folks are moving back and forth in the red zone. I'm hoping that people who are on the road, on the windward side of the island, I hope you're not in the red zone area between Overland and Rabaka on the road. I don't want people to be caught in those areas just in case there, there is a pyroclastic flow. I don't want anyone to be stuck in that area right now. I think if you're in Sandy Bay, stay there. Stay there until everything pass. I wouldn't attempt to go past overland, come in that area because you can't move too fast because the roads are uh, very difficult to drive on. So it's very slow going in, in, in that area. Um, I know a lot of people will be tempted to hit the road, but if I 
personally, if I was in Sandy Bay itself, I would hold my ground in Sandy Bay. Um, stay on the high ground somewhere in Sandy Bay and um, wait until after everything cooled, cooled down, if it cools down, to hit the road. Um, this series of explosions, much larger than the last couple of ones we've had, spilled in its gut way up into the sky this afternoon. whole area look at it take a look take a look at yes, yes. is what we're looking at whole north leeward side looking at it from Trumaca trying to get show you what's happening here taking place right now Lasso Fre volcano has erupted again can see the dark clouds that has engulfed the sky There are no words, you know. There are no words. There are no words. We hope and we pray that this would pass. You can hear the boats uh, bailing out of a uh, Rose Hall and not Rose Hall, but Rose Bank, Petty Waddell, uh, Chateau Bel Air. A lot of people came down this morning. Most of them I probably left already because on my way down there are a lot of vehicles heading out. But um, I'm sure there are people who stayed trying to get as much done. Let's hope that there are no folks in left in the Richmond Fitzhugh's area. Let's hope and pray that there are no one that close to the volcano right now. Because these explosions, we don't know what's taking place. We are, we are not able to see the slopes of the mountain because it's covered with the fallout from the eruptions. So you are not able to see there are no visibility of the mountain itself. It's completely covered. So we are not able to see what's happening on the slopes of the mountain. All we can see is the dark mushroom clouds that's engulfing the skies above us. And it's very dark, very dark. Sometimes, you know, you see the white mushroom cloud that looks pretty. Well, there ain't no pretty, there is no pretty white mushroom clouds here this afternoon. It's all very dark, very dark in color. And you can see, just look at the images. And uh, hopefully you're getting a good enough picture and um, you can see and experience what I'm experiencing right now. I 
again i'm in trumaca i'm looking at the volcano from the south of the volcano i'm to the south looking towards the north you can see a mushroom cloud that's bellowing up in the sky right there you see that last mushroom cloud that's going up and um, i'm approximately six and a half miles to the south of the last of Rey volcano so you have a uh, idea as to where i am in reference to the volcano but um the lovely day we were having has been look at the fallout look at the over the ocean look at it look at this is what we're looking at look at that this is what's happening right now look at it that's all the fallout falling into the sea and looking up some of the clouds that were in front of the mushroom clouds have moved a little bit so you can see the last couple of explosions get a better look right there and if you're just joining us and you're wondering what's taking place a lasso free volcano has erupted again here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The last eruption, the last explosions we had were two mornings ago. And, um, and um, we had none yesterday. We had none this morning. And um, I was feeling very comfortable with myself. I was like, okay, man, we're doing great here. Let's keep it that way. You know? Man. You can hear a low rumbling. Yeah, the dogs are back barking. Wow. Um, I'm telling you today I was in Sandy Bay and you look at the amount of ash that has covered the area the devastation and today's the first day that i actually broke down you know i'm in Trumaca and i move around we have some ash on the ground but there is you know it's it's you look at it and say we can we can fix this we can get out of this but when you go to sandy bay there was a sense of hopelessness, man. You know, I felt a sense of hopelessness. Listen to, listen. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take a lot of effort, a lot of effort by a lot of people working very, very hard. Okay. Saw the lightning flash there. The charge, when you see a charge, it's normally followed by a larger explosion. But it was such a beautiful, um, sunny Sunday afternoon. And now, the good thing so far is that most of the clouds most of the mushroom clouds are drifting 
towards the west over the sea and if it continues like that then most of it won't fall on land which is good um, if you look um, yeah most of it is drifting towards the sea uh, probably St. Lucia might get some of that um, but um, the clouds are drifting more over the sea if I go over turn to the sea look, at, look over the sea you see this is uh, what you're looking at stuff falling into the ocean that's what we're looking at that's all the dark stuff falling out of the sky and falling into the ocean. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. This is above, I'm looking up. Look over here, you can see this mongoro here, and you can see how mongoro is clear. That means the, the mushroom clouds are not drifting to the east. Mongoro is to the east as we look in, as I'm looking at the mountain, and you can see the volcano is here, and all of the mushroom clouds are going up and drifting away towards the west. And again, if you're just joining and one and his one and you you are wondering what's taking place. It's Sunday afternoon, tranquility shattered by explosions of the last of Frey volcano. And I can see, like I said before, a lot of this stuff is falling into the ocean. It's falling into the ocean. And unlike the earlier um, eruptions where you look at the clouds and sometimes it was pretty... Uh, white looking and looking beautiful these clouds we are seeing lately they're all very dark very dark gray the mushroom clouds that's coming out from the volcano very dark gray very dark no one is going to look up at these clouds and say wow those are that's beautiful. You would never say that when you look at these clouds. Again, looking at the ash falling into the ocean, falling into the sea. That's what you're looking, that's what we're looking at. You see all the dark, you see the... It look like it's a storm out there, you know, when, you, when there is a storm at sea, it looks like there is a storm at, but this is not a storm at sea, this is ash. This is the fallout from the last Sofrea volcano being deposited into the sea. That's what we're looking at. Okay. So we're looking at. Look. Okay. 
That's what we're looking at. Seem like the rumbling have slowed down some. So maybe let me keep my fingers crossed here. You know, <laughs> let me keep my fingers crossed and hope that that's it for today. Let's hope. Um, The frequency of the rumbling has slowed way down. So it's tapered off. And um, let's hope that we've um, had enough for today, for this on Sunday afternoon. Yeah. I just want to go back inside and get some rest. I don't know how, how many of you have driven all the way from Trumaca to Sandy Bay and back on the same day. Um, I don't know how many of you have done that. I do that all the time anyway. So this morning, I gave you a report this morning telling you how it was such a lovely morning it was and how everything was quiet here in North Leeward and looking great and all that stuff this morning. And then after I spoke to you, I hit the road sometime after eight this morning, drove all the way up to Sandy Bay. And um, we took some shots up there, me and my brother. Um, look at the homes up there. Um, and um, we headed back down, headed back down. We got back down here probably about, probably going towards two hours ago. We got back here to in Trimaka. And um, me with my old self start feeling very tired. So I had something to eat and say, so I'm gonna take a quick nap, you know, settle in for a nice little nap. And then last of all, said, hey, hey, Mr. Lewis, what's the matter with you? Get up, you know. So here we are, here we are. A series of explosions on a Sunday afternoon of the last of volcano has taken place and um, Right now, seems to have tapered off. And um, I guess I could wrap it up. If anything else happens this afternoon, this evening, then I'll come back and show it to you. But right now, uh, I just want you to look. I'm gonna show up, shoot up into the sky one more time so you can see overhead. You can look overhead, this is what we're looking at, right directly above me. Straight up. I just took, put the camera straight up above me, and that's directly overhead. And again, this is the ocean. This is the ocean. This is, as you can see, all the fallout from the eruptions are falling into the sea. Okay. This is the way, direction I'm shooting at. That's the boats coming from St. Lucia comes this way, heading up to Kingstown. So I'm going to wrap it up here for now. And uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and pray a little harder. Pray a little harder that um, we are closer to the end of it. As we know, volcanoes can go on for long periods of time. Let's hope this one doesn't do that. Let's hope we don't have to endure too much more of this. Let's keep
keep our hope up, keep our faith strong. And um, we get, we're going to get through this as one strong united people. Um, which we should be working on, you know. I, I, I was saying a couple of nights ago that it's a message. We're getting a message from our volcano. And I don't think we, are, we have gotten the messages yet. So until we get that message, I think the volcano is going to keep talking to us till we get it. So we better get the message, you know what I mean? We better get it and stop fighting against each other, and tearing each other down, pulling each other down. We're still doing it, you know. You look on social media, we're still bickering over crap. We're still. So let's get our act together. Okay? All righty, I'm out of here. You guys take care. And um, if there's anything, any, anything else taking place, I would definitely come back and bring it to you live. Take care. I'm out of here. Bye.